What's up everyone, this is Raven Gunplay and let's get started. So, today we are reviewing the HG Battlelog Breaker Gundam 00 Command Quanta from the Gundam Breaker Battlelog series. Now this kit is released in 2022 and made an appearance in the short Gundam anime called, again, Gundam Breaker Battlelog series. This unit is actually quite unique due to the fact that this unit is based off the 00 Quanta and the SD Command Gundam. Now, as for the pilot, a Gunpla fighter who belongs to the Ayato Shopping Street Gunpla team, Takuma Nagitsuji, is an influential player with the World Tournament experience. He is one of the few people who can use the Awakening system. Apparently a black box feature in the Gumpla Battle Simulator. Um, the, interestingly enough, he is a very powerful pilot within this Gundam anime universe, which is actually quite fascinating and interesting. I would love to see a full-blown anime, Gundam anime series, but sadly, it's only short and um, the rest of the series is in the Gundam Breaker uh, game so when it comes to the weaponry of this beast here it actually carries uh what do you call that now uh physical weapons rather than beam based weapon the first one is the heavy machine gun up next is the arms shield then you got your missile launcher then up next are the combat knives which is attached to the shield and then last but not the least you get the command sword which is actually quite fascinating. This unit is a multi-purpose mobile suit that uses uh, the the GN drive from the Double O Gundam series, which is quite fascinating indeed. And then combine the fact that this unit is based from the Command Gundam, the BB Senshi 59, which is even more fascinating. So you get the tall guy version of the Command Gundam. Finally. <laughs> now as for the color separation, it's really not that bad. It's actually quite good. It's actually well developed. There's very little stickers actually. And the only annoying sticker is on the feet itself. But that's it. And other than that, you can leave it as is or you can actually give this um, much needed detail which will definitely give out its... Uh, true and uh, true beast form practically <laughs> now as for the knobs and the seam lines I'm gonna have a closer look here okay hopefully this is enough now you can see on the side of the leg there the white piece that's a uh, knob mark but overall up close it's really not that bad unless you're actually looking for it this one here you even got some nubs on the shoulder piece the leg piece which is really not that bad at all you can always fix it now there's more there at the legs and you got some there on the sword you get some seam lines at the heavy machine gun so for a 2022 kit, for some reason there's a lot of thick nubs here, but uh, Bandai did try its best to hide it. Now this is where the painting uh, is uh, going to come into play to actually hide the nubs and the <clears throat> seam lines. Of course, uh, proper sanding will definitely get rid of the, those annoying nubs and seam lines. Now as for the articulation, it's really not that bad. Actually, let's remove this piece here and we're going to show you guys some of the features and this one here It's actually very solid when it comes to the shield itself the attachment and then You can actually remove this piece here as well There's a slot there then you got your Heavy machine gun there and then let's remove this this is where I like it it's actually really easy to remove 
and you can definitely add your own um, backpack for the command quanta here and as you guys can see these are really nice features details of course you can actually notice the nubs and uh, in certain areas but you can fix that easily and as for the headpiece there 360 and uh, that's a basic poly cap there now this is a ball joint just to let you guys know so limited articulation but as you guys can see not bad at all but this one here is not double jointed as per the sign and then you get really nice articulation for oops for the waist there and it's a ball joint and for the what do you call this now the waist the back skirt is a solid side skirt articulated front skirt articulated you remove this that's a ball joint piece which is not bad and then it's not double jointed and you can actually remove this piece here for an action base slot and there you go and not bad at all not bad look at that it's just fascinating the um, mobility the articulation of this unit here is actually just fascinating definitely sky's the limit and the nubs and the seam lines aren't actually that bad you can always fix that and then to top it off color separation is great as well and very little stickers except for those areas there with the clear piece other than that is this unit worth getting definitely a yes <laughs> that's the reason why i ended up getting the full battle log set because i'm just fascinated at the work that was made in for this unit here so you guys can see it's still standing and uh, it's just great i highly advise anyone to get this unit here and uh <laughs> I'm a little bit winded here. I actually just got a new setup here and I'm still trying to figure everything out. But uh, here's a quick look. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's still not complete. And. <laughs> but uh, overall, that's uh, all the time that uh, we got, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have been given to this channel for quite a long time. I'll uh, keep on making uh, content and uh, gonna see how far I can go. I'm gonna, I'm constantly improving my videos here and uh, this channel. And um, I do have another channel called Carrion Digital, which is a photography channel. Okay, that's all the time that I got, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's time for me to stop ranting. And uh, before I end this, I did forget to mention is here's an extra piece here for the hand and you got a lot of extra parts forgot to mention that <laughs> okay okay that's all i'll see you guys next time okay have a good day good night afternoon wherever you are this is raven gumpla i'll see you guys in the next video